Thank you and welcome to the show for today. The topic this morning is the pediatrics and childhood obesity. And we're fortunate to have with us to talk about uh, pediatrics and childhood obesity, the chairperson of the pediatrics department at Meharry Medical College, uh, Dr. Bean. And of course, uh, Dr. Bean will give us a lot of information in reference to her own uh, background and other information relative to some of the things that eventually led her to the uh, chairperson of the uh, Department of Pediatrics at uh, Meharry Medical uh, College. And of course, Dr. Bean, let me uh, welcome you uh, to uh, the show this morning. And to uh, tell you, Dr. Bean, how delighted we are to have you here and, and, and not to to have you to respond to uh, that. By well, I want to <laughs> okay. thank you for inviting yes, me to uh, come and mm -hmm. uh, join you. Um, I am chairperson of the Department of okay. Pediatrics mm -hmm. at Meharry Medical College. Um, and actually, I'm originally from Tennessee. I was actually born and raised in Winchester, Tennessee, mm -hmm. and then left there to go off to college in mm -hmm. Massachusetts at Mount Holyoke, and mm -hmm. subsequently uh, to the University of Pennsylvania, where I got a medical degree, mm -hmm. and then moved to California and did residency and and fellowship training there in neonatology mm -hmm. uh, at uh, Martin Luther King, Charles R. Drew, mm -hmm. University of Science and mm -hmm. Health. And now I am back here in Nashville as the chairperson of the Department of Pediatrics. Mm -hmm. uh, as a neonatologist, mm -hmm. uh, I actually take care of sick babies, and mm -hmm. I was division chief there for mm -hmm. many years. And But as in my position there, I also ran all of the programs mm -hmm. for um, high-risk children mm -hmm. that were uh, at, uh, we saw at uh, King mm -hmm. Drew Medical Center. And that meant that we were the medical home for children with all kinds of problems. Mm -hmm. So I had programs that took mm -hmm. care of kids who were exposed to drugs, mm -hmm. and we had a large population Good. of drug-exposed mm -hmm. children. I also had programs that uh, covered HIV kids, we had asthmatics, we had graduates of NICU, so we had a whole variety. We were the medical home mm -hmm. for children who had um, potentially uh, serious medical problems mm -hmm. in South Central Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I was then asked to come as chair of the Department mm -hmm. of Pediatrics at Meharry Medical College, which of course was a great honor mm -hmm. because of course having been born and raised Good. in uh, Tennessee, mm -hmm. I knew about the Meharry Medical mm -hmm. College and always assumed that yeah. at some point in my life mm -hmm. I would be here. And mm -hmm. so destiny has <coughs> brought me here as, uh, Very at this good. particular time. Very good. And, and, and I'm encouraged by that because uh, I think that uh, so many of us uh, see ourselves uh, at an earlier age doing things like this and, 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 and certainly coming from Winchester, uh, Tennessee. You know, I know that people in Winchester, uh, Tennessee were very, very proud of you, uh, wherever you were, but especially now at um, Harry Medical College. But what we'd like to do today, uh, Dr. Bean, is to uh, give our audience as much information as we possibly can dealing with uh, uh, some of the things that you do at uh, uh, Meharry Medical College and within the context of uh, childhood diseases. Now, certainly we'd like to talk about childhood obesity because I think that that is one of the uh, major issues that uh, children are confronting today and you've got a lot of information in reference to that. But you also mentioned some of the other issues that I think are very, very important and that is HIV and other kinds. Let's talk about it from your perspective. Anything that you'd like to say in reference to some of those diseases? That well, Meharry Medical College Department of Pediatrics and our pediatric clinic is located at Nashville General Hospital. Mm -hmm. We also have one up at 1919 Charlotte as well. Mm -hmm. But we take care of children from birth all the way up to 21. Mm -hmm. And in fact, we actually see children who are even older than that. We have an adolescent program, mm -hmm. and we will see children as old as 24. Now, I know mm -hmm. a lot of people don't think of children, mm -hmm. childhood is going yeah. that far, but adolescents are a particular group mm -hmm. um, of children with their own, or young adults, I should say, mm -hmm. with their own unique set of problems. Mm -hmm. So we represent a medical home for children all the way from birth mm -hmm. through uh, adolescence. Mm -hmm. And at our clinic, we are able to see all of those children. And we specifically focus mm -hmm. up on health disparities. Mm -hmm. And so that means that we have as a particular charge at the medical mm -hmm. school, as well as the Department of Pediatric, addressing those issues which mm -hmm. disproportionately address mm -hmm. the health or uh, minority and low income mm -hmm. and, um, health and uh, children 
who are in environments mm -hmm. in which they may not necessarily have the optimal mm -hmm. health. Mm -hmm. So we have problems related to asthma. Mm -hmm. We have problems related to drugs. Mm -hmm. We have problems uh, related, as we said, to HIV. Mm -hmm. And of course, childhood obesity, which is mm -hmm. a particular problem mm -hmm. uh, in that particular population. Mm -hmm. Very good. And of course, we're getting ready, uh, Dr. Bean, for our first commercial break, after which we'll come back and give you an opportunity to uh, perhaps talk about uh, some of the uh, childhood diseases. I think it has been said that uh, many of us often think of uh, children uh, as uh, small adults, and we never think in terms of the kind of difficult me different medical treatments that uh, are required. And so you might want to uh, deal with that uh, during this uh, second uh, segment. And of course, we'll, <coughs> excuse me, we'll be back with our audience uh, following this very, very short commercial break. We're talking to Dr.